Ever wondered how to paint a room like a pro? Today, we're going to demystify that process. Painting a room might seem a bit intimidating at first, but when we break it down into manageable steps, you'll see it's not as challenging as it appears. Imagine a room that reflects your style, a space that's fresh and vibrant, painted with professional finesse. That's the end result we're aiming for. So, buckle up and get ready to become your own personal decorating expert. First things first, gathering the right materials. The journey to a beautifully painted room begins long before the first brush stroke. It starts with selecting quality materials. The paint you choose will directly impact the overall look and longevity of your work. Opt for a high-quality paint that promises good coverage and durability. Now let's talk about brushes and rollers. A fine brush will give you a smooth finish while a quality roller helps cover large areas efficiently. Remember, the right tools can make the painting process a breeze. Don't forget the unsung heroes of any painting project, painter's tape and drop cloths. Painter's tape ensures sharp lines and protects areas you don't want painted. Drop cloths, on the other hand, will protect your floors and furniture from any accidental drips or spills. With the right tools in hand, you're one step closer to transforming your space. Before a single brush stroke, preparation is key. To ensure a professional-looking result, it's essential to properly prepare the room for painting. This process involves a few crucial steps. First things first, clear the space. Move furniture out of the room if possible or cover it with drop cloths or old sheets to protect it from splatters. Next, remove all wall fixtures like light switches, outlet covers, and picture hooks. This little step goes a long way in making the painting process smoother and the final result cleaner. Now, it's time to clean the walls. Dust, dirt, or grease spots can ruin paint's adhesion, so a good wipe down with a damp cloth should do the trick. Lastly, don't forget the painter's tape. Apply it along the trim windows and door frames. This will ensure clean, sharp paint lines and protect areas you don't want painted. Now, with a clean and prepped canvas, the fun begins. Now it's time to bring color to those walls. Painting a room is a process that requires patience and attention to detail, but with the right technique you can transform any space into a colorful haven. Let's start with the technique known as cutting in. This is essentially painting the edges of the room where the walls meet the ceiling, floor, and corners. To do this you'll want to use a smaller brush for precision. Dip the brush into the paint but not too deep. About one-third of the brush length should do. Tap off the excess paint against the side of the tin, but avoid dragging the brush across the rim, as this removes too much paint. Now, apply the paint to the edges, using a steady, even stroke. The key here is to maintain a consistent pressure, ensuring that the paint is evenly distributed. Remember it's always better to apply two light coats than one heavy one. Once you've cut in all the edges, it's time to tackle the larger wall areas. For this, you'll want to use a roller. Pour your paint into a roller tray and saturate the roller, but again, avoid overloading it. Roll it back and forth on the tray to distribute the paint evenly. Now, start applying the paint to the wall. Begin near one of the corners and roll in a W or M pattern. This helps to spread the paint evenly across the surface, reducing the likelihood of streaks or roller marks. One crucial tip while using a roller is to always maintain a wet edge. This means once you start a wall, you should keep going until it's completely painted. Stopping midway can lead to visible lines or streaks once the paint dries. If you need to take a break, try to do so only after you've finished an entire wall. After each break, start again at the edge of the last wet paint, blending the new paint with the old for a seamless finish. And just like that, you've brought life and color to your room. Painting isn't just about changing the color of a room, it's about infusing it with your personality and style. So, take your time, enjoy the process, and watch as your room comes alive with each stroke of the brush. Painting is done, but you're not quite finished yet. Now that the paint is on the walls, it's time to tie up loose ends. First, let's deal with the painter's tape. Wait until the paint is dry to the touch, then gently peel it off at a 45 degree angle. If any paint has seeped underneath, use a razor blade to cut along the edge of the tape. Next, it's time to clean your brushes and rollers. For water-based paints, warm soapy water will do the trick. For oil-based paints, you'll need a solvent like mineral spirits. Remember, a well-cared-for brush can be a painter's best friend for many projects to come. Now let's put the room back together. Move furniture back into place, rehang pictures, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. But what about that leftover paint? If stored properly, it can be useful for touch-ups down the line. Just make sure the lid is on tight and store it in a cool, dry place. 
If you have paint to dispose of, don't pour it down the drain or toss it in the trash. Check with your local waste disposal facility for the proper protocol. And finally, take care of your tools. Clean them thoroughly, let them dry, and store them in a cool, dry place. With these final steps, you've not only painted a room, you've created a space that reflects your style and personality. And there you have it, a room painted like a pro. We've journeyed together through this process, starting with gathering the right materials. It's essential to have the proper tools in your kit, from brushes to rollers, paints to primers. Preparation is key, and we've seen how taping off areas, moving furniture and laying down drop cloths can make all the difference. The real magic happened when we applied the paint, observing the technique of W strokes for an even finish. We then wrapped up with the finishing touches and cleanup, ensuring our work area was left as tidy as we found it. It's been a journey, but one that's well worth it. The transformation of any room is in your hands. It's about taking on the challenge, enjoying the process, and watching as your space comes alive with color. Remember, with the right preparation, tools, and technique, you can paint any room with confidence. Happy painting!